Hey guys, it's Bren. I'm here with a little Bath & Body Works haul. Um, got a couple new spring candles as well as the new dessert line of body care to talk to you about. And uh, yeah, sorry about my lighting. It's New Year's Eve. I wanted to get this video out because I just grabbed this stuff today. Uh, but this is why I don't film when it's getting dark out because it looks crappy. But it doesn't change the way things smell. And that's what's important in this video. In fact, you can watch it with your eyes closed. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's talk about the body care first. So Got a DM from my girl over at BBW tell me they were putting out the new body care and I was like, well, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> this is the most boring New Year's Eve ever. I might as well go get some of this new body care and talk about it. All right, um, I have strategically placed different lotions on different parts of my body as we embark on this adventure, but um, I had, well, I had one exchange and then I had like a bunch of rewards that were going to expire in January. So most of the stuff I got with rewards. But I grabbed both a shower gel and a lotion in the raspberry jam donut. And then a couple lotions, uh, the chocolate covered cherry and the coconut cream pie, which I also have the candle of this to talk to you about in a moment. So I'm in the store. I go up to the display. I grab the raspberry jam donut. Uh, I give it a sm sniff, but I have a mask on, you know, so I can't really get a good feel for it but I knew right away that it reminded me of something and I was like what is this what is this and the funny thing is I'd seen it on Instagram I'd seen other people make the comparison but I just wasn't remembering that at the moment I just knew that it was familiar and I was asking myself you know is this just because it reminds me of the wild berry jam donut candle but I was like no it reminds me of something body care what is it? What is it? And it didn't dawn on me until I got to the car and I took the mask off and I sat there and I just took a big whiff of it. And I was like, oh, Santa's blueberry shortbread. Yes. In fact, on the car ride home, I was convinced they were the same and it was a repackage. But when I got home, I put the raspberry jam donut on my left arm, the Santa's blueberry shortbread on my right arm. And only then could I tell that there is a difference but it is definitely the same base and they have tweaked it only slightly. So, you know, that raspberry jam donut fades because I just put it on like five minutes ago. It's already really faded. Santa's blueberry shortbread sticks around a little bit better, but I can still, I can still get a good idea. Really, the difference is just the berry note. The bakery note is exactly the same. Let me go ahead, let me put more on. The bakery note is the same, but you can tell that the Santa's blueberry shortbread has a blueberry note and the difference with the raspberry jam donut is that it's a little bit more tart. The berry note has a tartness, as it should if it's raspberry instead of blueberry. But gosh, they're really, really similar. I would go as far as to say if you have one, you don't need the other. They're like really close. But yeah, side by side, raspberry jam donut, the berry note is more tart. There you go. Potentially, potentially a little bit of that powdered sugar note, which I do get in the jam donut candle too. That's maybe not in the Santa's blueberry. But overall, 90% the same, maybe 10% difference, I would say. And the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread is a lot sweeter. So I don't mind the Raspberry Jam Donut being a little bit more tart, but it's like I have Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, so I don't really need to get a lot of this Raspberry Jam Donut. Maybe I'll just keep what I have. I don't think I'll buy any more. Um... However, I will say the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, like people were very upset and disappointed that it didn't come back this year for the holidays. So if you're one of those people, keep your eye out for this. It should replace it just fine and take its place uh, for you. And yeah, the shower gel, same too. I, I don't have a blueberry shower gel right now, but I did go through one and it's like, yeah, you're really similar. So that's how that smells to me. Um, it's still really sweet, even though it's not quite as sweet as the other one. All right, um, so now the chocolate covered cherry is very interesting. And I, it's Mrs. Hess 24 on Instagram. She reviewed this and it was funny because she said, it smells good in the bottle, but on me it smells like, I think she said baby wipes and pepper. Anyway, just wanted to let you know if you're watching, I feel the same. Uh, it smells 
very weird on, even though it smells good in the bottle. In the bottle, you get a lot more chocolate. In fact, it smells a lot like the hot cocoa and cream body care, but with cherry. Um, very similar to the cherry mocha candle. It smells almost just like that candle, and I like that candle a lot. But I put that one on this hand. I don't want to put more on. I just, I want to smell what's sunken in a little bit. The chocolate, which is so evident in the bottle, really fades on my skin. And what I get is the tartness of the cherry, but there is something peppery about it. I agree with her on that. There's something on my skin that's a little bit peppery, bergamot, weird, just odd. Yes. And maybe even a little perfumey, maybe even a little bit like a baby wipe. I don't think I would have come up, come up with that on my own if she hadn't said that, but I see what she's saying. So it's kind of doing the same thing on me, but yeah, the it doesn't smell the same on my skin as in the bottle in really at all. The cherry lingers, the cocoa goes away, and it becomes kind of peppery. And I don't think I like it. I don't think that's something I would want to like put all over myself when I get out of the shower or anything like that. Not a fan, not a fan. Okay, coconut cream pie lotion. Put that one over here. There's nothing wrong with this. This smells like it's supposed to smell. It smells like coconut, it smells like caramel. I don't really know that I get a crust note. My dog's making noise down there. Roscoe, what are you doing? What you doing, bud? Are you doing something bad? I really don't want to stop filming and check. All right, <laughs> I'll just cross your fingers. It's probably fine. Um, for me, it's a little too sweet. Uh, it is very caramely, but it smells like a coconut caramel type of scent. It smells exactly like what the package says it smells like. So if you're into desserty coconut scents, um, if you don't mind caramel, um, that's what it is. It's it's nothing like that would blow your mind. It's nothing that special, but I think there's nothing wrong with it either. Little too sweet for me, and I'm not a big caramel person, so I, this one's not for me either. But if again, if you like caramel, I think plenty of people will like that. Uh, and it, it smells like coconut and caramel, and bakery and sweetness. The whole collection overall very sweet, but that's expected. Uh, I don't know that there's anything here for me. I was really excited about this body care collection when we first saw the names. And of course, strawberry pound cake is in this one too. I don't, I like the strawberry pound cake candle and the soap, but the body care, I just don't. And that one also kind of doesn't smell on me the same that it does in the bottle. So this whole collection, there's really, I don't know, it's kind of underwhelming. Um, I will look forward now to the next body care collection that is rumored to come out, which has vanilla rainbow sprinkles, which is supposed to be a repackage of confetti cupcake. And I do want more of that. So I'll, I'll just hang out until that comes out, I guess. These, I just, I don't know. Yeah, they're all kind of like fine. I think it raspberry jam donut, I would probably be like loving that if Santa's blueberry shortbread had never existed and I was smelling this for the first time. But because it's just like 90% the same as Santa's blueberry shortbread, it doesn't feel like new and exciting. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's bad. It's just like super similar to something that I have a bunch of already. Um, but the chocolate cherry, that one's weird. That one gets weird, and the coconut is just sweet and caramely. Speaking of sweet and caramely, I did pick up, I have nothing left to exchange now. I even exchanged today candles that I bought on candle day that I would have hung on to, like a Tiki Beach, because I wanted to try the new one, and I'm like, I know I can get Tiki Beach anytime, but like I would have also kept and burned that. But So I, I have nothing left to exchange, <laughs> but um, I did want to grab a couple new candles. Coconut cream pie says toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, golden pie crust. The notes are exactly the same as on the body care, and it smells very similar. It is coconutty, sweet dessert coconut. I'm glad that they're not putting in a woody coconut or a tropical coconut here. It's a, it's a nice sweet coconut. The dogs are giving us background noise. It's fine. I'm going to keep going. Uh, I, you know, I don't love caramel in my candles. I definitely get the caramel here. It's unmistakably there. I think the main reason that I'm trying this out is because other people, okay guys, other people have said 
that they like this one even if they don't like a lot of other coconut scents and I just I feel like, all right, let me give it a shot. It's probably not going to be a repurchase for me. I haven't burned it yet, so I can't really speak to that. Stay tuned. I'll come back uh, and let you know if I have, you know, lots of thoughts after burning it. But it smells like one of those Girl Scout cookies. Maybe minus the chocolate, but like the Samoas. I actually had a beer called um, Samoa That uh, by O'Fallon Brewing. In, they're in St. Louis. And... It was really good and it does taste like those Girl Scout cookies. But yeah, this candle kind of smells like that too. It might be too sweet for me, but I don't know. I wanted to give it a shot. If I smell that next to the old toasted coconut that nobody likes, this is, it is worse. And the coconut seems a little bit more, or the caramel seems a little bit more sickening, sickening sweet. River, River, what are you guys fighting over? I'm trying to do a video. Anyway, I also grabbed toasted coconut s'mores. I think I like that better, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Hang on, please. I'm talking to you. Be quiet. Look at his little face. Okay. Yeah, be quiet. I'm almost done. Then I'll play with you. They want to go outside and play. I ran home. I took them out really quick to go to the bathroom. And then I was like, okay, I gotta do this video before it gets dark out. And now they're like, we want to go play in the snow. But anyway, the last one that I picked up surprised me. I would not have thought that I would have liked this at all, and I still don't know how I feel about it, and I'm afraid I'm not gonna like it burning, but it intrigued me enough that I went ahead and I got it, and it is the Sweet Mint Julep. So, right there. Smells so interesting. And the notes are crushed rosemary, mint, splash of bourbon, sweet vanilla syrup. There's clearly lime in this as well, which I believe there is lime in an actual mint julep. And it kind of smells like lemon mint leaf, but without the, or like instead of lemon, there's lime and not as much mint. Now, the thing about lemon mint leaf is that I really like that candle on cold, but I hate it burning. And so I'm hoping it's not the same thing here. I am a little worried about it being the same situation, but the mint is less, the lime is more. And I do think there's something boozy about this. Hey, guys, one more minute, one more minute. It does smell a little bit boozy. It's just really interesting, and I wasn't going to get it, and I just kept, like, going back and forth and back and forth, and I was like, I do want to get it. I have to try it. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but stay tuned. I'll come back and let you know. I'm really sorry about this. But, yeah, that was the last of my haul. <laughs> Ripper, Roscoe, you guys! You're being so bad. They just want to play. They're antsy. Okay, that's the end of the haul, uh, but stay tuned. I will let you know how I feel about these candles. You can also follow me on Instagram for updates at Candles and Music. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.